This exam question, or part of an exam question, comes from the 2019 Unit 2 paper for AS Physics. So the question asks us to find initially the mean value for the fringe separation and the percentage uncertainty in that reading. So first of all, we need to find the, the, uh, the fringe separation or the average fringe separation. So we've got this value x here and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in there. So we know that this distance here is going to be a fifth of. So the first thing we need to do is to find the average of these. The average of these is 6.6. Uh, .6. If you do the addition, uh, so add all of those together and then divide them by, by the six values that there are, you should have 6.6. .6. It's actually 6.62, but if you want, you can round that off. We then need to divide that by five to give us the value for... Um, Oh, sorry, really, that should be x, shouldn't it? And then my fringe separation y will be 6.6 .6 divided by 5, which is 1.3. And then if you want the extra significant figure, it's 2 on the end. And that's in millimetres. My absolute uncertainty, if you take a look, so that's the range divided by 2. So that's uh, my uncertainty in x is going to be um, 0.3 millimetres, that's plus or minus 0.3 millimetres. Or if you want, I don't mind which way you go about doing this, but let, let's turn it into the next bit. We need to divide that by 5 as well, so that's then going to be plus or minus, sorry, um, 0.06 uh, millimetres. And that's my uncertainty, uh, my uncertainty in delta y, which looks a bit weird when we write it down, but you know what I mean. Okay, so if we then take these two values, so we take this 0 0.06, divide it by um, this, so my uncertainty, and divide it by my average reading, which is 1.3, times by 100, because we're looking for a percentage, we get the um, percentage uncertainty to be equal to uh, 5%. So for the next question, we're going to do uh, use the formula. So lambda equals A, which is the fringe, uh, sorry, not the fringe. A is the slit separation, so the distance between the two slits up here, uh, times by the, chair, the uh, fringe separation, uh, delta Y, all over the distance to the screen, which we're going to denote as capital D in this instance. We're then going to substitute those values in. So A, uh, I can't find that in the question, it should be around here somewhere. There we are. <laughs> Took me a moment to dig it out from within the text. It's there, so it's 0 0.6. So that's 0 0.6 times my fringe separation, which we got from up here, which is uh, 1.5. I seem to be working in millimetres at the moment, so we'll sort that out in a little moment. Uh, all over <coughs> distance, which is currently in metres. I mean, I'm going to slip it into um, millimetres just for consistency. So that's going to be 1.5 times 10 to the 3. And if I work all of that out, uh, I should get 530 nanometers. Now you're more than welcome to check that and you might need to do a little bit of playing around with the powers over here so you might want to turn these into meters and then play around with it just to confirm that you're getting 530 nanometers out. So that's what it says here. Calculate the value for wavelength of light. I'm pretty confident that 530 nanometers is light so I think I've got the right answer here but it also wants me to work out the percentage uncertainty of this answer. So we need to take a quick look if if we notice that my percentage uncertainty in A is 5%, so that's 5% uncertainty plus my percentage uncertainty here, which was 5% up there, should give me 5 plus 5 equals 10% uncertainty. Okay, so there's the second part of that answer for that. So part C of this question is uh, a slight change. So this time we're using a diffraction grating. So we're going to have a slightly different formula. And the formula we're going to need for this one is N lambda equals D 
sine theta. So we're going to uh, quick rearrange. We're after the wavelength again, so determine the wavelength. So uh, wavelength equals d sine theta over n. I'm going to substitute in uh, the different values. So d is... Um, Oh, sorry, it's up here. Uh, it's 1500 zero, zero, uh, times 10 to the minus 9 uh, meters, because it's nanometers. We've got sine theta, so that's sine of 45. Fall over, because it's n if you look, that's n0, that's n1, that's n2. So that's the angle that's being measured. So it's over 2. All of that equals... Uh, 530 times 10 to the minus 9 for consistency, which is equal to 530 nanometers. Okay. So then the last part of the question asks us to talk about uh, how, um, how the two experiments vary. So the patterns on the screen between the first experiment, part B, which is Young's double slits, and part C, this diffraction grating, uh, we've got fewer bright spots with the grating uh, than compared to the, the Young's double slit experiment. State two other differences in the pattern. So what I'd say is uh, maxima, because I like that word, are further apart. Sorry, if I do lots of writing, the uh, camera wiggles a bit more on the end of my, uh, my holder. Um, so the maxima are going to be further apart because, and we're going to say why, so because... Uh, the slits, so the gaps in the grating, if you like, the slits are closer together. Um, there's another one, the bright, the bright spots or maxima are sharper or smaller maybe or better defined. Um, uh, because what you've got is a, is an, a greater overall uh, there is more so there's a greater overall um, uh, what would you say uh, I'm trying to think now there's more uh, constructive interference so you get more constructive and more destructive interference so you get a clearer pattern at the end um, because you've got more slits basically so those would be my two so it wants to take two other differences and state why each occurs. So if you think there's there's the first bit, that's what we see further apart, because there's my statement as well. Don't forget to do all the parts of the questions, four marks here, and again, those two parts there. Okay, hope that's been helpful for you. See you again soon.